Okay, everybody, this is going to be our second um, lesson for poetry writing. Today we're going to be doing diamante poems, which comes from the word diamond, and that just comes from the way you set the poem up on the page. But before we do that, let's just review some things and add one new thing. So a noun, like we said the other day, was person, place, thing, or idea. Verbs are action words. Today you need to know what a participle word is, and I don't think that came up in any of the vocabulary videos, but those are simply words that end in ing. So like I said, we're going to be doing um, something called a diamante poem, like a diamond, and a diamante poem. Um, actually, I should probably draw that on there so you can see the diamond, but if you picture it like a line going here and then here and then here, it would be in the shape of a diamond. Um, so this is an example. It goes from one subject to another subject, but let me just read it first and then we'll talk about it. So this one starts off with the first line being cat, clever, cuddly, crouching, pouncing, purring, meow, feline, canine, bark, running, sniffing, yelping, lovable, smart, dog. So, what do you notice? Again, no rhyme in this poem. You have a subject one and a subject two, and they're kind of opposite. So you go from cat to dog. We're gonna see one in a little while that's a little bit different than that. So you think opposites, or you think of something going from one stage to another, caterpillar to butterfly. That works nicely with these poems. Um, you also see some alliteration, that hard C sound, cat, clever, cuddly, crouching. And then you have some more pouncing and purring. And then that hard C again for canine. You can play around with those kinds of words if you'd like. Um, and then line four, the poem switches on itself. The poem switches subjects. So the first half of the poem is all about line one or subject number one. And the second half of the poem is all about line seven or subject number two. Okay, so there are seven lines. The key is line number four, okay? That's where the whole poem switches. Line one is a noun. Line two, two adjectives that describe the noun. Cats are clever and cuddly. Line three are those participle words, the ing words about the cat, crouching, pouncing, purring. Line four are four nouns. The first two nouns are gonna be about subject number one or line one, cat, meow, feline. Cats give a meow. They are known as felines. And then it switches, and then you're going to have two nouns about the dog. Canine, that's what dogs are known as, and bark, that's what they do. And then the participles, running, sniffing, yelping. And then two adjectives, lovable, smart, dog. Seven lines, a little tricky. So here's how it's put together. Okay. Seven lines goes from one idea, subject one, to a different or opposite idea, subject two. Line one, one word, one noun, subject one. Line two, two adjectives about subject number one or line one. Line three, three words, three participles, three words that end in I and G about line number one or subject one. Line four is the tricky line because line four is where the poem flips, right? The first two nouns are going to be all about subject number one, and then I've changed colors for you. The second two nouns are going to be about subject number two or line seven. Three participles, words ending in ing on line five about subject number two or line seven, and then two adjectives describing line number seven or subject number two. So I'm going to show you one more um, diamante poem. I'm just drawing a diamond on there so you can see it. So you see how it makes a diamond shape if you put all the words in the center? So this one, first thing you need to do, obviously, is pick your topic. So this one goes from child to adult, okay? So they're not opposite. It goes, you, everybody goes from a child to adult, right? So line one, the noun, child, young, rambunctious, playing, fighting, tumbling, Growth, change, development, maturity, achieving, working, striving, older, wiser, adult. Yes, wiser. Okay, so if we look at it, seven lines. The first line, one, you know, is a noun. It's one word, child. 
the second line describes the child, young and rambunctious. Third line, playing, fighting, tumbling. That's what children do or a child will do, ing words. Line four is the trick. Two nouns about line number one, child, they growth, they have growth and they change. And then it flips, development, maturity, two nouns about adults. And then achieving, working, striving, those ing words about adults. Describe the adult, older, wiser with two words, and then the word adult. Try it. Again, document will be posted in classroom. I'll give you some examples there. I'll give you some ideas and some directions. Give it a whirl. Try to have fun with it. Don't make yourself too crazy. This is supposed to be fun, guys. See you later.